Okay, thank you. Okay, good night. We just got home and then we found our place being ransacked. Sir, the victim is Mr. Pang and he's the owner of the house. Where is Mr. Pang? Inside the house. Is there a teacher here for belonging to Lady? No, we didn't have time. We just called the police and everything. Okay. Okay. So the I.O. is here. Hi, I'm Senior Investigation Officer Raimi. What actually happened here? When we came home, we found a house in a mess. Look. Were the windows or the doors locked when you left? Yes, they were locked. Notice any suspicious person or activities in the neighborhood recently? Not really. We have lived here for almost a year. This is a peaceful neighborhood. Mr. Pang, do you have any CCTV cameras? Well, not inside the house. The security cameras are all outside. Check where the CCTV cameras are located. What time you left home? We left at about um, 4 o'clock. Sir? You may start processing the crime scene. There are no cameras here. Looks like there's only one camera facing the exterior of the house. And these two cameras are facing the entrance of the house. Mr. Pang, we will need the recording from your CCTV system for our investigation. Sure. Just take what you need. Just find the culprit who did this to our home. Hey, Eric. Come over here and take a look at this. There are three culprits, two male and one female. There's probably a fourth. Acting as a lookup? Yep. Let's take a look at the other camera's footage. This is the footage from the final CCTV camera. Culprits look European. Mediterranean, maybe? Hmm. Which means they may be foreigners. I'll contact ICA and see if they can identify who these culprits are. Hello? Anand here? Yep. Okay. Okay, we'll be right over. Raimi? Yeah? There's been another house breaking at Kambangan Estate. Let's go! To suddenly find four strangers in the house, wearing gloves, and one of them was holding a weapon. It was scary.
JV726. That's all I remember seeing on the car plate. Ma'am, are you okay to continue? Are there any CCTV cameras installed in this house? I wouldn't know. I just ran a room here. I need this recording for our investigation. May I have the SD card? Sure. Hello, Eric. I have the culprit's car plate number, SJV726E. Run a check on it and let me know about it, okay? Yep, thanks. Here, officer. Thank you. Thank you. SJV 726E was rented out on Wednesday by a lady named Puntas and Trogo Yuli Catherine, a Colombian national. Was there anyone else with her? Mm, no. Has the car been returned? No. Is there any way you can check the car's current whereabouts? Of course. All our rented cars come with GPS trackers. So you can use the car's GPS to pinpoint its exact location? Mm, more or less. Can you help us? Give me a moment. Our rental car is at East Coast Park, Kabak D5. Call Eric. Tell him to follow up Puentes and Trago Yuri Catherine. And tell him we're heading down to East Coast Parkway. We're checking down the rental car. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Anand, check the boot. Raimi, over here. There's a crowbar in the boot. Looks like the suspects have abandoned their rental vehicle and fled in a different mode of transport. Contact the crime scene officers and get them here. I want them to collect all the evidence. Right, sure. This is Pontes and Trago Yuli Catherine, a Colombian national. As you can see, her likeness resembles the female culprit spotted at a crime scene. On May 2nd, she arrived on the same flight with three other Colombians. They are Sandoval Rivera Edgar Alberto, Ordena Sanz Andreas, and Gonzalez Gonzalez Alvaro. The four of them are here on social visit passes, and their disembarkation cards indicate that they are staying in the same motel at Hamilton Road. I have alerted ICA the moment they attempt to leave Singapore, they will be detained, and ICA will inform us immediately. Good job. Let's go. This is the one. Ma'am, I'm Senior Investigation Officer Raimi. Are these four people guests in this motel? Oh, they are the Colombians. Yes, but all four of them just checked out about an hour ago. Thank you. Uh, excuse me, officer. Are you looking for the Colombian tourists? Who are you, sir? I'm Sunny. I'm a private driver. I couldn't help overhearing your conversation just now. I picked up four Colombians from here just now. These four? Yes. It was definitely them. And where did you send them to? I drove them to the airport. At Terminal 3. Call Inspector Lin from the airport police. Send me the photos and the details of the four suspect and tell him that the suspect was last seen at T3. Is there any conversation uh, that you heard them talking about? Hello? Yes? Eric here. Okay, okay, got it. What is it? The suspects didn't buy any air tickets. Instead, they bought bus tickets for Kuala Lumpur from a coach company at Terminal 3. For what time? The bus is leaving from Tampines Hub at 5.30pm. It's already 4.20. Call Anand and tell him to mobilize the team. We meet them at Tampines Hub in half an hour. Okay.
want to go and buy some snacks and drinks. I'm tired. You go ahead. I'll wait here. Okay, we leave our bags with you. Okay. Senior Investigation Officer Raimi, are you Sandoval Rivera Edgar Alberto? Yes. You are under arrest for housebreaking. What evidence do you have? Hey, get off of me! Let's go! Stop, stop, please! No, no, no! Stop! Sandoval Rivera Edgar Alberto. What happened on the 6th of May? Nothing. Nothing? Okay. Explain this. Are you telling me that's not you in the picture? Okay, we were there. Who? Who are the we you're talking about? Julian, her husband, Gonzalez, Urdones, and me. What did the four of you do? Yuli ran to the car. We drove around to check out different houses. And we found one. The place looks quiet. Which makes it an ideal target. So when do we strike? I say we strike when everyone is out for dinner. No one will be home, so it will be easy for us. Si, vamos. We went to a hardware store and bought a crowbar. We used it to break into the house. dumped the car in an empty car park. And we took a private car to the airport. But we didn't have enough money for the air ticket. So we bought a bus ticket to Kuala Lumpur. Sandoval Rivera Edgar Alberto, Puentes and Trago Yuli Catherine, Gonzalez Gonzalez Alvero, and Ordones Saint Andres were convicted of housebreaking by night and sentenced to 12 months imprisonment. In the case you've just seen, the suspects broke into two houses within a span of two days. Through the footages retrieved from the closed circuit surveillance cameras from one of the house owners, as well as other evidence retrieved from the crime scenes, officers from the Amokyo division managed to identify and track down the four suspects who were eventually arrested within 24 hours from the report of the first break-in. The police would like to remind all home occupants to exercise vigilance and adopt the following measures to safeguard your homes. Ensure all doors, windows and other openings are well secured with quality grills and closed shackle padlocks. Secure all doors and windows before retiring to bed or when leaving your home. Install a burglar alarm, sensor light 
or closed circuit surveillance camera to cover the access points into your premises. Ensure that these devices are periodically tested and in good working condition. Keep large sums of cash in the bank and expensive jewellery in a safe. If you are going away for a prolonged period, suspend the newspaper subscription and arrange for someone to check on your home. If you notice strangers loitering or behaving suspiciously around your estate, call the police hotline at 1-800-255-0000 or call 999 for urgent police assistance. You can also submit information online via eyewitness at police.gov.sg forward slash eyewitness or through our Police at SG application. All information will be kept strictly confidential. When we return, we take a look at how you can protect yourself when you do your shopping during the year-end festive season. The festive season is here again. You can see the malls abuzz with crowds as shoppers hit the mall for their year-end shopping spree. As you soak in the festive mood, do not fall victim to crime. Refrain from exposing your cash and valuables in public areas. You never know who could be watching. Should a stranger bump into you, be careful. It might be a deliberate act. Check your belongings immediately. Should you find anything missing, Inform the store security immediately and follow up with a police report. Do not leave your valuables unattended. If you have to step away, have a family member or trusted friend watch over your belongings. While you're shopping for gifts during this year-end festive season, our police officers in uniform and plain clothes will also be patrolling in malls and crowded places to deter and detect crime. Do your part too by being extra careful and vigilant. With Christmas and New Year around the corner, do not allow criminals to steal your joy. I'm Desmond Tan, wishing you happy holidays. Scam alert. Please protect yourself with these simple tips against potential scammers whenever you shop online. Online purchase scams largely involve the sale of items such as electronic gadgets, concert and theme park tickets, as well as clothes and footwear. To avoid becoming a victim of such scams, you should always be wary of people selling things at prices that are too good to be true. Check the seller's track record by reading reviews or contacting previous customers. If advance payments are required, use shopping sites that only release your payment after you have received the item. Arrange for physical meetups for purchases made through online classified ads. To seek scam related advice, you may call our anti scam helpline at 1 800 722 6688 or go to www.scamalert.sg. Stay vigilant. Together, we can fight scams. The Singapore Police Force will be holding our Police Community Roadshow this November and December. We invite you to join us at Topayo Hub on 24th and 25th November, Badok Town Square on 1st and 2nd December, and the open field near Westgate on 8th and 9th December. At the roadshows, you can feel, experience, and understand how different capabilities help the various police units safeguard Singapore from crime and security threats every day. You can find out more about the roadshow by visiting police.gov.sg forward slash roadshow. We've come to the end of this episode of Crime Watch. If you have any feedback, do drop us an email. I'm DSG Jonathan Aoyong. Until next time, do your part to keep your neighbourhood safe and secure. <laughs>